why am I a Christian? And some of my closest and dearest friends are not. I can't come up with an answer. I can't come up with any reason why God would redeem me. And one question that bothers me, and I'm sure it bothers you, is the question, why am I a Christian? And some of my closest and dearest friends are not. I just talked to a young man who was deeply struggling about this in a convention at Chicago. He was concerned about his brother. He said, I don't understand it. Why am I a believer and my brother isn't? And he said, it doesn't seem that God is fair in all of this. I said, well, in the first place, you don't know yet the final chapter in your brother's life. Your brother may still become a believer. But let's go back to your question. Why do you believe and your brother doesn't up to this point? Is it because you're more righteous than your brother? He said, oh, no, no. I said, why are you in the kingdom? I ask myself that question all the time. I can't come up with an answer. I can't come up with any reason why God would redeem me. I certainly haven't earned it. I certainly don't deserve it. And obviously, this was a question that Paul was asking, why me? I was on the way to destroy the church of Jesus Christ when Christ blinded me on the road to Damascus. Why didn't he do that for Pilate? Why didn't he do it for Herod? Why didn't he do it for Caiaphas? Why didn't he do it for Ananias? Why me? I certainly don't deserve this. No wonder that Paul was the apostle of grace. The only reason I can find in Scripture why God, in his great mercy, would save anybody is for the sake of his Son, to honor Christ. We are the gifts of the Father to the Son. You've been listening to Ultimately with R.C. Sproul a podcast from Ligonier Ministries. If you enjoyed the show, please subscribe or leave a review in your favorite podcast app. For more information, visit ultimatelypodcast.com.